Welcome to Aja Teller, the show that transitions you from think to change. And today we have with us Yvonne Wende. She's a development communication specialist. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me, Anne. Good. And today we're speaking about standing tall. And not physically standing tall because I don't think any of us are more than 5'4". But we're speaking about courage in the face of adversity. So my first question to you is why is it important to face adversity with courage? It's important, and I'll say this first of all, that every single human being faces adversity at one point or the other. And at times, multiple times. That is our shared humanity. In this world, we will have trouble, and there's nothing that really we can do about it. But it is possible for us to overcome adversity. And it is important because that is what holds our progress. That is what holds, uh, even in terms of fulfilling our purpose. Because the thing about adversity, they, they're kind of like stepping stones. They are like projectiles. Wow. They're the things that actually lift you up. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at history, every single man or woman uh, in the face of this world has been propelled by some sort of adversity or the other. It's, it's, it's really, it's very rare that a person will actually be propelled by things that lack adversity. Uh, let's say, uh, you know, there are people who've started, even in this COVID season, there are people who've started businesses as a result of the adversity, the economic meltdown. There are people who have actually discovered new hobbies, new talents. There are people who have rekindled relationships and, you know, all that. So adversity is very important to propel us further and also to be able to help us to, to, to achieve and to fulfill our purpose. Wow. And you know, you've spoken about something and it has reminded me about fight or flight. Mm. You know, the instinct that in the event of adversity, we have the option to fight or to face it or flee, which is fly, flight. So fight or flight. And maybe someone is watching us at home and everyone knows the situation that has happened in the world over the last year and a half or so. Why is it important to actually face the challenge and not run away from it? Well, uh, I, see it, I see it in two things. One of the things is uh, it's a human instinct whenever we face um, you know, a danger to be able to flee from danger. It's, it's actually, it's very instinctive for human beings. For instance, if you see a fire, and it, you, you, I mean, your very basic instinct is to run away from it. If you see a snake, your basic instinct is to, is to run away from it. And there are times where running away from something is actually very important. I think of women or people who have actually been in domestic violence, and I feel how it's important for them to be able to run away from such. Uh, it can look like cowardice, but I don't believe it is because you're actually protecting and safeguarding yourself. But it's very also important to stand firm and fight as well. And that is where you're able also to propel yourself, as I had said earlier. Uh, facing a challenge, how do you able to face a challenge? I look at adversity in this way. Um, there's a book that I read, The Greatest Man Who Ever Lived by Stephen K. Scott. And he says in this group that your whys need to be deeper. And when your whys are quite deep, then there is no adversity that can be able to turn you from your goal. Uh, so what is your why? Is your why that do you want? Are you living for the applause of men? Are you living for personal gratification and stuff like that? So if your why is much more, um, you know, it's, it's, it's much more noble or it's much more deeper, then you actually find that there are certain adversity that will come your way, but they will not be you off the road. So for instance, if your why is to take care of your family now that, you know, we have this coronavirus and it has brought a lot of economic challenges. So if your why is taking care of your family, you actually find that you're able to propel yourself further because you have people that are actually looking at you, uh, who, are, who, who you're actually supporting. Uh, the other aspect of it also is when you know that there are people that are depending on you, when you know that your success is also, uh, will also be able to catapult someone else, you actually find that you have more gravitas to be able to stand, you have more gravitas to be able to fight as opposed to, to, to flee the fight. And that is actually very important. So it's very important for us to discover why we do the things that we do. Wow, and you've said so many good things. And one of the things that I'd want even to take forward is the danger of denial. You know, sometimes when you face adversity, there are many people who are living in denial and you say this issue doesn't even exist. So why is it important to actually face it? Because one of the things that denial will cause is, is the ability to just sink in deeper. So why is it important to face it and what is the danger of denial in adversity? I look at it as the stages of grief. I may not be able to list all of them. But I think it's important for a human being to go through all the stages, but not to remain at one single stage. 
um, if you look at the stages of grief, I don't know denial, which I don't know if it's the fourth it's step the or, or yeah. the first. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to go through all those stages and it's important for you to go through all those stages because that it, it helps you to de-escalate. I see it as a form of de-escalating you, but it's important that you do not remain at one single point. Again, as I said, because adversity is a shared humanity, look at the people that have been able to face, have faced adversity and how they have responded to it as well. If that can actually give you that uh, motivation that you need to fight on please do but do not remain at one point um, you face denial yes there's an economic crunch I'm going to still talk about the COVID and the economic crisis that you're facing but that is is, is is not to say that you remain where you are it's not to say that you remain in a state of depression it's actually very important and you know the small things are the ones that matter we think that you have to make the big steps there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a guy in the army who said this, every time you wake up in the morning, make your bed. Perhaps that is the only battle that you would have wow. won on that day. <laughs> so make your bed, simple as that. The other thing is get up from your bed. When you wake up in the morning, that is another battle that you've actually won. Get up from your bed, take a shower every day. Yes, that is very important because it lifts your mood. And once your mood is elevated, then you actually find that very minimal steps in your life. If you're able to take very minimal steps in your life, then you're able to see that even the big challenges will not be quite unsurmountable to you as well. You know, one of the things that you've said, and, and I'm really uh, grateful for that, is that sometimes to stand tall doesn't mean that you make very large changes. Mm -hmm. It could be incremental milestones that take you to where you're going and enable you to fight. So the fight is not just the big battles. You have to win the fight over the small battles as well. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe what are your thoughts on that? You know, Anne, one of the other things that I also realized that, you know, even in terms of facing adversity, it also could be changing your friends as well. Wow. It sounds like such a big thing, but it's not really a big thing. Because if you're constantly staying with people that actually pull you down, you find that someone saps your energy, saps your, you know, your self-esteem, then that is actually you know, another thing that you can be able to move on. There are relationships that you need to walk away from. And then small things really, actually, they make a big difference. My mother used to tell us, do the small things well, and then the big things will not have to struggle with a wow. lot. Wow. And so when every time I find that that to be so true, <laughs> it could be even trying to leave early, you know, just wake up a little bit earlier. You know, you find that your day is not as rushed. So do the things that actually bring you joy, small joys, small victories, and applaud yourself. And there's a time we were talking about doing the to-do list. Yes. One of the things that I do when I'm making the to-do list, so there are, there are tasks that I've already done or I'm just about to do, but I will list them. Do you know the gratification I get from just, just ticking, ticking that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm like, yay! I get such a boost out of yes. it. And that is what we are telling people. But don't think about the problem in such a huge thing it's not a huge tree for instance but think about it as a sapling think about it as a small tree and how you can be able to actually overcome do the small things well and the big challenges won't be so difficult for you to surmount as well wow and you know one of the things that you've said is that you are able to applaud yourself through the process mm. so maybe someone is watching us at home and they're wondering you know i have this issue I'm, in fact i have multiple issues i my relationship is not working at, uh, at home maybe this environment is not good I have having a challenge economically what can that person do practically from this point forward to enable that they don't flee from the situation they don't live in denial what can they do to take this forward courage in the face of adversity one of the things I keep saying to myself and this is what I do I think better with pen and paper mm -hmm. take stock sit down and actually be able to write down exactly where you're at do not exaggerate be very truthful about yourself during the pandemic last year we were having a conversation with a friend of mine so the guy that they went to in, in campus and also in high school became a dj and then after some time during the melt i mean during last year's uh you know some sort of like economic meltdown where there was a curfew and the lockdowns he couldn't be able to get work so he went back home and so he was feeling a certain type of way that now he has to depend on his parent. Mm -hmm. And my friend was like, no, no, you have actually done, you know, if it, whatever it takes for you to reboot, yeah. do it. Sure. So long as you're not wow. breaking any laws, so long as it's not sinful, yeah. do it. And this is what my friend says, which was quite profound. This is what he said. He said that 
the things that we are supposed to be, um, what is the word, the things that we are supposed to, to, to be fearful of, or the things that are supposed to give us, uh, for lack of a better word, it's not coming, aibu, are the yeah. things that we do not have aibu for. For yeah. instance, let me say this, somebody does not have shame when they go to sleep with a married man and get money. Somebody does not have shame to steal to get money, yeah. but somebody has shame to actually go back home or to go to a friend and just reboot for a while. So you see such certain things like that. So take stock of where you are in your life and do not be afraid to make the many, the decisions, the tough decisions that you have to make. And do not also overthink and start to think, okay, I'm making this, this decision, what would Anne think about it? Mm -hmm. It's not really about Anne. Do what is best for you at that time. Do what is best for you within that time. Whether it means that you have to go to a smaller house, whether it means that you have to move on, move in with someone, do what you need to do at that time. Because the thing about adversity is, there's no situation in this life that is permanent. Wow. That is, wow. Uh, that is actually the most beautiful about thing yeah. about this life. If it is joy, or if it is uh, thriving, sometimes it is not permanent. Yeah. If it is uh, a situation where you're facing a lot of adversity, please take courage. It is not permanent. The cycles of life are up and down if it, if it was in a, in, in a graph. So there are spikes and there are dips. So please take courage that this season will not last forever and actually begin to look forward to the next season. But there are steps that you can begin to take to ensure that when you get into the next season, you're getting it to eat more powerful and with more strength to be able to take it on. Wow, wow. Thank you so much. And even as we begin to wind up, the thing that I take away from this conversation is that, first of all, adversity is not permanent. And standing tall in the face of adversity is doing the big things and it's doing the little things as well. Mm -hmm. So even as you're fighting, fight the big battles, but fight the little ones as well. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that you should do is show up every day. Even if showing up means dressing up and going out. <laughs> Even if showing up means cooking that meal and sitting and eating it by yourself. So whatever you have to do to show up for the battle, do it. That's my parting shot. What's yours? Exactly as you said it. My parting shot will be, I'll go back to the whys. So how deep are your whys? How deep is, what do you do? Well, how deep is what you do? Why, what drives you to do that what you do? Uh, if, you, if your drive is actually money, material wealth, and I said again, personal gratification, uh, applause of men, then you will find that you will have no energy to be able to move on in this world. But if your wise are deep, if your wise, wise are service to humanity, if your wise are to be able to do the purpose to which God has created you for, so you actually find that you have more steam. Even when things are difficult, even when you face multiple adversities, you find that you still still have the strength to be able to push forward. So I'll ask you again, what is your why? Wow, thank you. Thank you so much. And you know, we take this conversation forward, but one of the things that we really want to say is that you can have courage in the face of adversity. Yeah. So think about it, act on it. Thank you so much for watching Aja Teller from Think to Change.